Well, I was at my neighbor's house and uh, I just left. I came home to check on the dogs and um, so I just, I was on the three-wheeler and uh, so I, I came home and I, uh, all of a sudden I parked it, shut it off and as soon as I parked it I heard a big screeching and you know, a couple of loud cuts. And, um, so I basically knew it was an accident. Um, so I guess the inst instincts just kicked in and, you know, you know, I knew something happened just from the sounds of it. Um, so I just jumped in my truck, went down the street and, uh, I saw a big mess and stuff all over the place. And, um, you know, there was people laying here and there and, uh, no, you know, there's a hundred things going through my mind, but, um, you know, I guess I kind of assessed the situation, and, you know, I looked at the car, the car was on fire, and, um, I just kind of, I saw somebody hanging upside down, so I ran over there to see what was going on, and, uh, grabbed the seatbelt, and, um, you know, it was tight, so I, I knew I had a pocket knife, because most of the time I usually do carry a pocket knife. Um, so I grabbed it, cut the seatbelt, and, uh, um, you know, she kind of dropped down a little bit. I was kind of concerned that I wouldn't be able to get her out, and, um, but luckily I did, you know, and I was kind of thinking this is going to be bad, but, um, you know, I was going to do whatever I could, you know. So, kind of cut the seatbelt, and uh, uh, I really thought she was going to be stuck because you always hear the stuff about the jaws of life and stuff like that, you know. So I was thinking, you know, she's not going to be able to, you know, get out as easily as I hoped, but luckily she did. She wasn't conscious. Um, but, yeah, luckily I got her out, you know, you know minimal damages, you know. I knew, you know, like, I could sit there and you know, kind of watch it, but I knew I couldn't do that, so it was, uh, since I knew, like, I had to react, you know, it felt, I mean, it felt, um, at first it was just kind of weird, you know, because it was, like, like I said on the news, it was really surreal, but, you know, that once I, you know, it happened, and I, I pulled her out, and, you know, I kind of ran around the car, you know, all spastic, but, uh, I saw a bunch of cars coming, so I felt like, you know, I should probably block them off, you know. And again, like, I didn't, I didn't know how to feel, I guess, like, I didn't know if I should feel like, oh, I did a great thing, you know, but in all reality, somebody died, and, you know, like, I barely escaped from my life and her life, you know, so it was, it was kind of touchy, I guess, you know, but... Um, I mean, I, I feel good now. I'm, I'm just glad that, you know, because people, I've heard that, uh, you know, I made an impact on people's lives, and I think that's, like, the best feeling <clears throat> is, you know, that maybe, you know, somebody else will step up and do something, like, you know, like, it's just pay it forward or whatever that maybe is, you know, like, it's something like that, you know, I, that's that's what I feel good about. I don't feel like a hero. I don't want to be a hero. I want people to, you know, do things just because it's, a, it's the right thing to do. If you're going to do it or you find yourself in that situation, I guess, you know, just, just be smart about it and do the right thing and do your gut, gut feeling, and I guess, you know, I mean, it never hurts to, uh, to help somebody out, I guess. Ha, 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 ha.